Chapter 28, Question 38, Part A, asks, What is the ball's charge density? The formula for charge density is rho equals Q divided by V. And since we're dealing with a ball, V is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Substituting in, we have rho equals Q divided by 4 thirds pi r cubed. We know the value of Q because it's given in the figure where it equals 80 nanocoulombs. So substitute and this distance r is given as 20 centimeters, which we will convert to 0.2 meters. Substituting in, we have 80 times 10 to the negative 9 divided by 4 thirds pi times 0.2 cubed. This gives a value of rho for rho as 2.38 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs per meter cubed. Part B asks how much charge is enclosed by spheres of radii 5, 10, and 20 centimeters. To do this, we use this formula where charge equals rho times V, V being the volume we found in part A of 4 divided by 3 pi r cubed. And then the value for rho we found also in part A, which is 2 times 2.38 times 10 to the negative 6. Plugging in, we have 2.38 times 10 to the negative 6 times 4 divided by 3 pi r cubed, which reduces down to 1 times 10 to the negative 5 r cubed. Substituting in 0 0.05 for the 5 centimeters, we have 1 times 10 to the negative 5th times 0 0.05 cubed, which gives us a value of 1.25 nanocoulombs. To find the charge at 10 and 20, we just need to plug into this formula again, which I will do now. plugging in 0.1 for the 10 centimeters and 0.2 for the 20 centimeters, which will give a value of 10 nanocoulombs for the charge on at 10 centimeters and a value of 80 nanocoulombs for the charge at 20 centimeters. Part C asks, what is the electric field strength at the points 5, 10, and 20 centimeters from the center? To complete this problem, we need to use Gauss's law, which I have written here, and then solve for E, which is what happens after you Take this integral and then so bring this a to the other side. And then all we have to do is plug in the chug, basically. We use q, which we found from the last problem to be last part of the problem to be 1.25 times 10 to the negative 9. This epsilon naught, which is just a constant, 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. And then the area of the sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. And I've already plugged in for the 5 centimeters and solved, which gave me a value of 4.5 times 10 to the third Newton Coulombs. Now, to do the rest, all we have to do is plug in the other two values, which I will do now.
and this gives a value of nine times ten to the third newtons per coulomb, and then do the same thing for the electric field at twenty. Coulombs. And there you have it. That's the problem.